Hey everybody, it's Barton Holmes with Yamaha Marine Center and Holmes and & Owen Yacht Sales. Today we are listing this 2019 Pursuit Offshore 355. That's a boat that I sold due to the customer who had a Pursuit 345 before this boat. Uh, he keeps it here in uh, this harbor in Jacksonville. It's a freshwater lagoon. You can see how clear the water is. But anyway, it's a freshwater lagoon that locks out onto the intercoastal waterway. It's a place called Queens Harbor and that's where the boat is stored. Uh, today we're going to do a walkthrough of the boat um, outside and inside and just give you a tour around. Um, boat was ordered, custom ordered, um, has a white hull sides. Uh, we do have bottom paint on the boat, has the uh, platinum boot stripe, if you can see that. Let me zoom in. Platinum boot stripe, black bottom paint. Uh, we do have the through stem anchor system on the boat. Um, on the bow, nothing uh, special out here. The handrails you see, the little handrails up here, um, are standard with the boat. There is a cushion option, which this boat doesn't have. Uh, you can do a cushion around the hatch, but this boat doesn't have it. Um, he did do custom windshield covers. You can see the covers uh, there on the side windows. Those white covers, they snap on from the inside. There's also an exterior cover, which is off right now, which covers the main windshield which is great for privacy at night and keeping the sun off the interior of the boat when you're not using it. Um, nice, big, heavy-duty stainless steel rail here, all welded. Very nice diamond pattern non-skid on the deck. The boat's in very nice shape. This boat has triple 300 Yamahas, which we'll get to in a moment, but it only has 61 hours. Um, we have extended warranties on this boat. I believe we go out until 2025 on the extended warranties which are transferable to the new owner. That, those are on the motors from Yamaha. Um, let's talk a little bit about the windshield. Um, pretty special windshield. This is a laminated glass windshield um, that Pursuit uses on all of their offshore boats. The laminated glass prevents, the, uh, it prevents them from having to heat temper the glass, which means when you look through it with polarized glasses, you don't see all the splotching that you do, which is from the heat tempering. Uh, this is laminated glass. Uh, comes from Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, very thick, very nice windshield. Very clear, optically clear uh, glass. Uh, fiberglass windshield frame. Uh, which is custom made by Pursuit. Nice wide side decks on the boat. Very comfortable going forward. A couple of rod holders here. Um, the enclosure, so this is the upgraded uh, polycarbonate enclosure with the stamoid white um, vinyl. Let's uh, take a look up here on the foredeck. We'll start on the outside and then work our way to the inside. But nice foredeck area. Easy to get around, safe. Anchor locker is in here. Open this up. Uh, got a little Lumar windlass. There's a remote control for the windlass also. Just there. Uh, we also have, let me see if I can turn this around. You can see we have wash downs, hoses, um, a hose for fresh and raw water wash down. And then you can see the anchor goes through the stem there. Really nice setup. Uh, on the hard top, go through what you're seeing here. Obviously, it's a radar display there. It's a 4KW open array from Garmin. Um, there's a TV antenna, which is that small mushroom one right there. The other one close to the deck, that's the GPS uh, antenna for the Hellmaster, Yamaha Hellmaster system. Obviously, the air horn over there. Uh, we do have the taco outrigger um, option on this boat. He's never had the outriggers up. They're still in the box in the garage, but the mounts are there on the deck. Um, and then, of course, the VHF antenna. Uh, a couple of day hatches here, a couple of hatches overhead so you can uh, get some air down below. Uh, this does have um, helm air conditioning, so if you want to run the helm air conditioning, then obviously you keep the hatches closed, but if you want some fresh air blowing through there, then those two hatches can be used for that. Let's go around and look at the engines real quick. So these are triple 300s, which even today, in brand new, uh, offshore 355, this in my opinion is the engine package of choice. Um, the predecessor to this boat looks the same, but it was running twin 350s. Um, Pursuit redesigned the bottom of the boat to handle the triple 300s. Um, it's also an option to run twin 425s, but in my opinion, 
once again, this boat is a better performer with the triple 300s. I uh, like the extended swim decks here coming out to the back end of the engines. Um, there's also, a, you can just see it, there's also a little walkway across in front of the engines. So it makes it very easy when the engines are down and you're out enjoying the boat. If you're doing waterborne activities, you can cross the transom here without having to step down into that deep splash well. Uh, also, um, if you'll notice where shore power comes out, this is a 50 amp service boat and it has a Glen Denning cable recoiler system. Um, you pull it out manually and then there's a push button remote which uh, recoils the 50 amp shore power cable electrically. So it makes it very easy to store that cable inside. Just pulls all this cable and goes right inside that hole and it's stored on a reel down below. Nice big cockpit area. Come on board. Nice spacious cockpit. Um, there's a seat that pulls down here. <coughs> Behind the seat <coughs> is a little dunnage box. <coughs> Excuse me. This has batteries underneath it. Now there's a picture of it in the specs. If I can show this to you, it's kind of difficult to do with one hand. But you can see the batteries are underneath there. Secure, out of the way. Um, great place for batteries on the boat. Live well on this side, I believe we're about 30 gallons in the live well. He's using the boat, uh, using the live well for storage, which a lot of people do. Opening transom door, going out onto the swim platform. Storage underneath the gunnels on both sides. Each side also has a fish box. These fish boxes are plumbed to a macerator pump, so all of this waste gets pumped directly overboard. None of this will go into the bilge, which is a great feature. All these boxes I'm, we're looking at are insulated also, so it'll keep ice for the day. Um, in the main hatch here, the main mechanical access, um, let me run you through this. What you're seeing there are the pumps for each individual engine for the Hellmaster system. Um, there's an air conditioning pump, which is there, the black pump you see there. Uh, and then uh, you've got the bronze through hole strainers for different systems on the boat, air conditioning generator. Over on this side, you've got the fuel water separators. That, this uh, large transducer, one kilowatt air mar transducer for the fish finder system. Back there, that big white box you see, that's the isolation transformer, so all shore power comes through that transformer, which protects the boat from bad grounds. Um, anyway, all the pursuits come with isolation transformers, really nice feature. And then back on this side, that's the generator. It has a uh, cover on it, a uh, protective cover to keep water off of it. And of course you can see the grillage system there, the grid system they use, which is the stringer system for the boat. We got that out of the way. We can move forward with some of the amenities. Grill here, the small sink to the side. Make sure I get that in the picture. And then underneath here is a uh, little bait prep tackle area. Um, little cast um, uh, bucket for a cast net. Uh, this whole unit will pull out, and then you can access inside there get to the top of the fuel tanks and get into another mechanical space. Uh, two aft-facing seats. And there is storage underneath this little cantilevered seat. A little storage down there. It's nice. And then overhead in the hard top, um, we've got life jacket storage here. Uh, I will say this boat does not have the electric sunshade. So on many of them, there's an electric device or a sunshade device that uh, goes into this area here and there's an aluminum box that covers it and it telescopes in and out. This boat does not have that feature. I think that's the only option that of any consequence that it doesn't have. It's extremely well optioned. Uh, the customer did not uh, think that that option was something he would need and so he didn't order it with the boat. All right, as we go up into the helm area, um, remember the helm is all air conditioned. Um, so you've got a separate compressor unit for this area, another one down for in the cabin. As you walk up here, there is a freezer box there. That can be dialed down. I've seen that these things go down to two degrees and it'll hold two degrees. Um, you can use it as a refrigerated box or a um, freezer box. Uh, 
battery switchers are there. Uh, he had this little piece of custom carpet made, otherwise it's just fiberglass underneath there. A really nice L-shaped settee area. He has the optional teak table. You can see the outrigger base is there. This piece is nice. When you get the this um, this type of Isinglass, uh, it's not Isinglass, it's polycarbonate. It um, the center. This does not roll up. This is a, a very thick pane. Almost feels like a thin glass. What does not roll up like the Isinglass will. But the center section that goes here uh, just folds up, and you can put it on this extra slider at the top and put it off to the side, which is really nice. Um, upgraded stereo system in the boat. Big woofer. Lots of speakers. Uh, there's a cover, which is here for this teak table. And the helm. Helm seat, very comfortable. Armrests that come down. Bolster that flips up here. VHF radio, as always, is off to the side. It's a Garmin VHF 315. And then the helm itself. Uh, these are the um, 7612s. Um, they have the little door at the front here, so you can um, pop in a SD card if you need to. But full chart plotter, fish finder, radar. This does have the auto, Garmin Autopilot on it also. Bow thruster is a standard feature on the boat. Stereo system, stereo head by JL Audio, as are the speakers and the amps. On this side, you've got this boat does have Helm Master on it. Um, so you've got the Helm Master controls, which is there. One of my favorite features of Helm Master controls is single lever control. When the boat's running, if you push that button, um, one throttle will control both the, all three engines at the same time, keeping them all in synchronization. So that's something that gets used all the time. So you don't have to have both of these. Obviously, there are three engines and only two throttles, so um, all three engines are controlled by the two throttles. The uh, I believe in the center engine and the right engine are the ones that are controlled by the uh, by the right throttle, by the starboard throttle. Trim tab controls. Um, this display here is. Um, it's the, Gar it's the Yamaha display, but it's actually also a Garmin display, too. So you can swipe it side to side. Um, let me come up here. Make it home. There we go. Now I can go over. There you go. Sorry. That's the um, display for the engines, the main display. But as you can see previously, if you swipe from side to side, you can go in and actually it's a third chart plotter. So it'll share information with these other displays up here. Um, air conditioning vent is there, and then there are more air conditioning vents, as you will see, around the boat. Return is down there. Compressor is underneath the seat. And you can see the view forward on this boat is incredible. Fantastic boat. I've been in the Bahamas in these boats and the Keys in these boats. It's a great running boat, especially with the triple 300s. What the 300s help you with is staying on a plane at lower RPMs. It does a fabulous job. It's such a great running boat. It really, when they switch from the triple from the twin 300s to the triple 300s, excuse me, from the twin 350s to the triple 300s, um, it made a huge difference because they redesigned the bottom of the boat and allowed the boat to go faster and stay on a plane at lower RPM. So it's definitely a fantastic uh, engine package. Um, and then you've got to do a vent here, an electric vent in the center of the windshield. Uh, going down to the cabin, a couple of things. There's a, a sliding door here and a sliding screen door there. All right, and then you head down into the cabin. Sorry about the pillow falling down over there. I think Pursuit in this segment of the market it does absolutely the best job of the interiors. It's so attractive. It's all made by hand at the Pursuit factory. Uh, they do such a wonderful job. So this, this material is a Formica style material. Really attractive look to it. Very durable. Um, They've used the veneered plywood in the past, but if you hit it with something, it's soft and it will ding. So this is the, uh, the synthetic part, which holds up extremely well. These corner pieces are solids. Uh, this is, um, oh gosh, this is a form of mahogany. I can't remember what the, um, uh, the actual name is of the wood, but it looks like a mahogany. It has the same sort of texture as mahogany. So um, it's very attractive wood. And then the solid surface material, I think it's corian solid surface materials with the little fiddles here. Fiddles keep things from falling off the edge. 
All right, so let's look here in the bow. Um, you have the curtains pulled down here, um, the shades pulled down. There are two glass panels there you saw on the outside, two glass panels on the whole side, which is nice. So if you're in here and you want to see out, you can pull those panels up and look out onto the water. Very attractive. Little storage areas behind. Table is a high-low table. Push the button, it comes down. While it's doing that, I'm going to show you some other things. So you've got uh, those black panels on the either side of the mirror forward are stereo speakers and speakers for the television. Um, over here on this bulkhead is the television, a flat panel TV. And then below that is a, um, a, the AC electrical panel. So I'm putting this table all the way down. And then I'll show you what it does from there. But while I'm doing that, let's look at the electrical panel so I don't forget that. AC electrical panel is there. So this boat is running off of uh, 240 volts and they also stepped some of the systems down as you can see in here to 120 volts. Um, air conditioning, grill, uh, chargers are all working at 240 volts and then microwave, the galley outlets, um, those are all working off of 120 volts. Uh, generator control is here, switch over for, for shore power and um, generator is there water tank monitors there. This also has a high water alarm which is in the cabin so if uh, for some reason uh, you've got a lot of water in the boat it'll send off an alarm if the bilge pump can't keep up with it. So anyway the table's down and then over here on this side you've got these cush these this button that swings these cushions in so you can see this telescopes in and what you're doing here is creating an island berth which is super nice. Um, once again, I think Pursuit is, is the benchmark for interiors in these boats. Very innovative. And there's technically also a, um, a coverlet that goes over this that you can put on and then put sheets on top of that. Then, you don't, then it kind of covers up the little seam you have there in the center. But on either side, you've got little bedside, um, I wouldn't say table, but certainly top there with a cup holder controls for the lights which are there light switch same on the other side and the other thing it does is it allows you to put um, pillows and, and linens and all behind here this area here that you're seeing um, is is only exposed when the bed is made so when it's not made then you can take other soft goods put them in here retract this back and they'll stay in that position there um, over here on this side you got uh, controls for the stereo system USB outlets, 12 volt outlets, um, 110 volt outlet. All right, galley is here on this side, small microwave built in, a couple of uh, two burner stove, a couple of uh, burners on the stove, isotherm refrigerator, stainless steel, lots of drawers wherever they can put drawers in. They even dovetail the drawers, which is nice. Another locker here. There's a cover for the sink, um, so you can have this all solid, uh, a solid counter if you're serving here, having friends over and you don't need the sink. Um, you've got a little pantry area there, shelves, and then this is a hanging locker, and then that's the top of the sink and the hanging locker here. Uh, Mid-cabin area, you got it, this double berth so two people can sleep there. It's tight, but two people can sleep in that area. That cushion comes down, goes over here, so you can get the full length of this. Um, over there on the far end, um, you've got an outlet. Uh, behind those two doors are battery chargers and all. It's really a mechanical space. Um, it has little locks on the door, so you can't easily access it because there are electrical items behind there. A little storage bin down below. Uh, the deck here on the boat is gorgeous. It's a solid wood deck. It's the same material they're using. Uh, and the other solid wood pieces, it's this... Um, form of mahogany, really nice color to it, but it's about three-eighths of an inch thick. It's all put together and engineered by, by Pursuit. So these are all custom made. And then, finally, the head. Um, the head. Uh, little vessel sink. Controls for the lights. Little medicine cabinet there. Toilets over here on this side. This linen locker here. See if I can get it with one hand. So this, see if I can show this. 
This pulls out and creates the shower, the stall shower. So it segregates half the head. So you can only get half the head wet when you're taking a shower, and then you get access to that linen area behind there, which is nice. Toilets underneath. The, it's a vacuum flush system on the boat. Controls for the shower are here. Shower heads right up there. And behind this is a really nice feature. A little manifold system for all the. Fr um, fresh water system for hot and cold so if you have a, a hose burst or something you can shut off the individual um, item so you don't lose all of the pressure water on the boat you can just uh, turn that one side off and uh, until you can get home and get it fixed nice feature uh, shower sump in here of course drain shower in here the water goes into it uh, sump pump is pumped directly overboard and you can see it's a full fiberglass liner looking across at the galley Anyway, so that is the walkthrough. Fabulous boat. I've spent many hours on them. I'm happy to speak with anybody who'd like uh, more information on this boat or the pursuits in general. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Have a fabulous day. Please feel free to give me a call if you have any questions about this boat. My name is Barton Holmes. I'm with Yamaha Marine Center and Holmes and Owen Yacht Sales. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.